Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have any of the following three vehicles, guys, Fiat 500 Chrysler 200 or Dodge Ram Pro Master, guys, with the 2.4 multi-air engine, guys, and you're trying to figure out how often should I change my timing chain. Stay with, stay with us, guys, and we'll explain that today. Now, in the menu, it says not that even it's not a, a serviceable item, so you shouldn't replace it. But we've seen, guys, so many engines with timing chains fail because not of because of the chain but because of the tensioner guys timing chain tensioner that tensioner is hydraulic tensioner make sure to stand till the end we'll explain what that means and how they get wore out and we'll explain how often we think you should replace the chain tensioner and all that now as you can see the engine is out because we guys have practically probably close to 100 videos on that engine alone and we want to show you with a great detail where everything is located on that engine where every boat is located so you know how to replace pretty much anything we'll put quite a bit of work guys and we do all that so we can save you as much money as we can guys so please subscribe to the channel and like the video so let's go ahead show you what we have here if you want to see the video for the timing chain replacement and timing marks we have it on the channel one will be shorter video explaining timing marks and installation. One is the whole video from start to finish about the timing chain replacement. And that takes quite a, quite a bit of time, but it's doable guys. It's not as complicated as other vehicles. You do not need any special tools or stuff like that. So this is the chain. Chain is pretty heavy duty on that engine. Check it out. Pretty heavy duty chain. You have only one camshaft because you have the variable timing on the intake shaft. But on this side, you have only one camshaft and these guys actually helps why because there is less stretch on the chain you can see the chain goes all the way and all the way around the camshaft if you have a dual one you just catch quarter of the quarter of the camshaft uh, gear this one it probably catches about two third of it so there will be less stretch and wear on the chain that way so probably that's why okay they put in the manual not to replace it and it's pretty thick too even though I'll recommend guys to repla replace it every 100,000 miles, okay, you probably don't need to, but we've seen engines fail at about 150, 60,000 miles. However, guys, timing chain tensioners, okay, that's a different animal now. Those things, they do get wore out, and we'll explain why we'll remove this one in a second. This is a hydraulic tensioner. What it does, guys? Oil, oil pushes the tensioner out to get the slack out of the chain. And when you turn your engine off, you will not have oil pressure. As a result, that tube will be holding the tensioner to the point, okay, that it cannot compress more. Just a little bit until the tube stops and that's it. Now, what will happen, guys, okay, if that tube gets wore out? If it gets wore out, okay, the chain, guys, okay, that timing chain tensioner will compress. Okay, let me see if I can turn it, I won't be able to. It will, guys, compress almost all the way in. And as a result, when you start the engine for the first few seconds, that timing chain will be loose and there is always a possibility to jump the timing and completely damage your engine and need an engine rebuild or new engine. So that will need to be taken care of, guys. Now, another thing, that tensioner is oil, uh, hydraulic oil tensioner, guys. We'll remove the two bolts quick, okay, and I want to show you, okay, what it looks like on the back side. So let's show you now, guys what it looks like okay if you replace it you guys have to follow the procedure it's a special procedure to remove the tensioner that explains about the timing and all that that camber right here guys it's filled with oil you can see this is oil canal this is oil look at all the black stuff here okay this is from oil not being changed too often okay definitely guys okay check it out that stuff builds in the tensioner as a result it may not work properly guys another thing it has an oil seal inside that can fail guys as well and the spring it gets soft sometimes too okay you can see that spring guys okay it shouldn't be so soft guys i can compress it pretty easy and those teeth if they get wore out or that tooth gets wore out you're done guys you can jump the timing so that timing chain tensioner guys i recommend don't go over 100,000 miles on those guys we usually we replace ours at around 80 on some cars even sooner but usually 80,000 to 100,000 miles i would recommend and never to go more than okay more than uh, actually more than uh, 100 check out okay i'm trying to focus okay right here that chinese spot 
Okay, you can check it out, and the one on the other side. That's being wore out, guys. That has some wear on it already, as you can see. So, definitely needs to consider that. The chain, if you replace the tensioner and you're to that point, replace the chain to you guys. It won't take you much more, and it's not much more expensive, but you have a peace of mind that everything's good with your engine. Other than that, you practically can go, okay, without replacing the chain for a longer period than the tensioner. So, hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.